So what is autism? It's this etymology, not to, not to be confused with entomology, which is the study of insects. <laughs> etymology is the study of words. Uh, I love the study of words because, I don't know, I think words are fascinating. Words, language, language is fascinating. Language tries to describe our experience, and it will never totally get there. Uh, because, you know, language can't be meaning, it kind of describes a meaning. And so words are very important to me, and probably because I'm a writer and poet, I just love words. The written word is a friend of mine, it really is. And so I really think we need to you know, learn more about what words actually mean, literally. Where do they come from, the history of the word? Because if we just keep using the word over and over and over, without intentionally realizing the meaning behind it, it gets hollowed out. Like autism, inclusion, you know? Equity is getting there a little bit. And they get hollowed out. Like, I mean, if I say a word too much, how are people going to know I truly mean it when I, I use it when I really mean it? It's like, you know, say I was married, right? And in L.A., there are a lot of people who just walk around and say to everybody, even to strangers they just met, love you. I'm from my life, by the way. <laughs> I have a base in my life. If I went around saying oh, to all my friends and everybody say, okay, I love you, see you later, when I say that to my wife, like philosophically, how is she going to know I mean it more than when I say it to others? Right? So the etymology of the word autism, this first part might surprise you all, but it's composed of two parts, ought and ism. How about that? <laughs> The prefix of the word is I, which comes from the Greek word autos, meaning self, and the suffix ism, also from Greek, implies a state of being or condition. So from that I summarize, that, you know, surmise that it would be a state of self, and that is very much my autism. I am an inwardly focused individual. I retreat into my shell because this world is too harsh, brutal for me. When it is going somewhat well, people misunderstand me. You know, it's a uh, very exhausting, depleting existence. I, uh, I like to liken my life to, again, I told you earlier, I love analogies and metaphors, uh, because they really, again, are a vehicle to help people relate to things they otherwise might not be able to relate to. And for some reason, I, uh, lately I have, this is a new metaphor I've come up on, lately I feel like I'm this really, like, confident armadillo walking across the <laughs> highway, right? Like, I am just almost strutting across the highway. Right. But then a car comes up and I get scared out of my mind and I curl into a ball. I go inward. That's like how it feels for me to have autism. Like I can feel like I'm on top of the world, but then one thing, one loud noise, one unexpected change, one flight delay, I go inward. And I really go inward. Like I would shut down. I'm a computer, right? Computer shut down. I will, then people try to get that computer to do something, not knowing it's unplugged, and then they get mad at it. Luckily, computers have no feelings. 